Hi, I'm Kelly Kavler, and uh, one of the things I enjoy about uh, the observatory and wor uh, working out here um, is seeing the kids' faces light up when they see Saturn or the moon through the telescope for the first time. It's kind of the awe and wonder that that inspires in people. I am from Oklahoma. We came in from Stillwater, so we drove two hours. We don't have anything like this in Stillwater, and I wanted to give our grandchildren the opportunity to experience the observatory. I think this is not only sad, but I think it's a public travesty that we let institutions like this that keep kids interested in arts and sciences, we let them go without a fight, and it's wrong. We lack against the rest of the world in arts and sciences, and we let these things go, it just really bothers me. It could keep kids interested in science and exploring not only their universe, but just in this beautiful setting. I mean, it, it's, it's just it's going to be a terrible loss. Very sad, and I hope someone can step forward and help keep this place open. It's been part of you know this part of the state for a generation. This is the kind of resource that you really need if you care about educating your children, if you care about inspiring young minds to you know wonder about the world around them. You look at how many people are out here tonight. It's just a sense of community, something that we can share together. There is a value to that that you can't really describe, you just have to experience it. Now you look at Saturn through a telescope, or you know, Jupiter, um, any stars, planets, nebula, galaxies, anything you can see from the ground, it just shows you, you know, how vast the universe is. It's, it's kind of a meeting place for people that are interested in the hobby and for new people that come to town, come out here and meet people interested in astronomy. This, I mean, look at this, it's a community out here. They're all enjoying this and this is, this is wrong that the, a facility like this can't be kept alive. It's, they should keep it open for the new generations of people to experience. I mean, this is amazing. They should never close it. Because new generations will want to see this. Yeah. They need to keep this open. This is something that nobody can miss. Uh, yeah. This is what you would call a experience of a lifetime because it's, it's special. It's different. And it's really out there. And at night, it kind of lights up the world. That's what we, nobody in the city can see this because they're just, they've got city lights. Nobody can see this beauty at night and that's why they need to keep this open. My name is Harold Henderson. I am the newsletter editor of the Kansas Astronomical Observers. We are going to propose that we take over the operations, that we do the programs, that Wichita State is willing to donate a lot of the exhibits if that is allowed to happen to happen as well as the main telescope. So we get an opportunity to have a facility that's very well equipped. Our local telescope expertise, our engineering expertise, our business expertise, our education uh, outreach uh, with uh, local educators allows us a, a unique synergy that allows us to bring all of this together, add to what is late at Lake Afton Public Observatory now and into the future. Some of you may have heard about the meeting that was held at Johnson Controls here in town. Um, we got 26 volunteers at that meeting alone. Plus we've been contacted by other volunteers who have in the past worked for Lake Afton Public Observatory and some of them who currently work at Lake Afton Public Observatory. They're going to be added to our total of volunteers. We will be having a fundraising campaign if we get the green light for this project and that's where the broader public will have a part to play as well.